Question six. Write these numbers in order of size, starting with the smallest. Well, the first thing to note is that this one and this one both begin with a zero. So they are obviously going to come first before the numbers that both begin with a one. Because the, the ones that I've underlined in yellow begin with one point something. The ones I've underlined in green are naught point something. So let's have a look at the ones in green first because they're going to be smaller. So 0 0.96, this has got two digits after the decimal place. And 0 0.328, that's got three digits after the decimal place. Well, first of all, let's make it a fair comparison. So to make this one have three digits after the point, we can just add in a zero. Okay, so 0 0.960 now has got three digits after the point. Remember, if you put your column headings in, that doesn't actually change the value. Adding in the extra zero doesn't change the value of the number. It's still worth the same as 0 0.96, even if it's got a zero on the end. Because all you're saying is that it's no units, nine tenths, six hundredths, and no thousandths. And that no thousandths is the same whether or not you put the zero in or not. There would just be no thousandths. Okay? So what we can see now is that 0.328 is the same as 328 thousandths, which would look like this, 328 thousandths, and 0.960 is the same as 960 thousandths. So 328 is obviously smaller than 960. So we need to be putting the 0 0.328 in the smallest box and then the 0 0.96 in the next box and then we get on to the yellow uh, numbers of underlined in yellow so we've got 1.9 and 1.253 but remember this little trick that we talked about earlier with place value so the one is one unit nine tenths but don't forget that the columns afterwards would be hundredths and thousands so 1.9 is the same as one unit, nine tenths, no hundredths, and no thousandths. So this is like saying 1.900, and this is like saying 1.253. Well, 1.253 is going to be smaller than 900. So 1.253 is going to be the next one, 1.253 if you like. You shouldn't really say 253. But if it helps you to think of it like that, it might help you. And then this is like 1.900. Again, you shouldn't really say 900. You should say 1.900. But if it helps to compare the 253 after the decimal point to the 900, and you realise that the 900 is bigger, because they both begin with a 1, then the 1.900 must be the biggest one. So that goes in the end. So write these numbers in order of size, starting with the smallest. Your final answer is 0 0.328, 0 0.96, 1.253, 0 0 and 1.900. Although you could actually get rid of those zeros off the end, and you don't really need them, because the original number was 1.9.